Hello YouTube, TJ This Life here. Today I have another cool knife to unbox for you. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. I'm using my CRK uh, woman zong to unbox this. Let's cut this box open. See what's inside. Oh, we got a cool bead. Nice. I think this one is a zirconium or zircotite. Yeah, zircotite bead. Super cool looking. Nice. Let's put this aside for now. Uh, we also got a cool, I think, Hank. Nice. I actually traded my uh, CRK in cozy for this knife. And I think the uh, seller for this knife added uh, one of the hank. Let's open this up. This hank actually come with a certificate of authenticity. That's interesting. Fox hanks. Nice. Okay, let's see. It's a cool hank. Super cool looking. Okay, let's uh, set this hank aside for now and see what's inside this box. And it says custom knives made in Finland. That's cool. And this is their logo. Uh, it's called Hog House Knives. Okay. See, hog house nice. See else. Let's see what's inside this. Established two thousand twenty-one, and have the your logo sticker here. And we have some COA here. This one is. Uh, model T and serial number is 165 date of birth is 69 or September 2023 blade is I'm390 handle is TI ti titanium hardware is titanium as well and the maker's signature yeah, super cool um, let's take a look at this knife. Oh, and they actually included some extra hardware. That's super nice. Cool. Set the box aside. And let's focus on the knife. This is their Model T. You can see the Model T here. Super Good looking knife. Very slim. Yeah, let's take a closer look at this knife. You can see, super good looking. The mailing on the scales, angled mailing, and then the pocket clip, hardware, backspacer, and payway screws are all kind of purple anodized which gives this knife a pop. And the color contrast is super nice. Okay, looks like it's a flipper. Let's give it a flick. Super good action on this knife. And let's see the blade. You can see the blade actually has some micro milling, which reminds me of my uh, 
green small Norseman uh, that has macro milling on the blade as well. And also I have my SPK Lamia and this knife has macro milling as well. Just like this one. Yeah, and uh, super good looking drop point blade. As you can see, pretty reflective on the spine of the blade. Pretty thick on the spine but really really thin uh, on the on the blade and the edge is screaming sharp yeah, and the ergos on this knife is super comfortable it's a frame lock Let's see the closing action not as drop shuddy, but uh, very smooth. You can definitely drop, uh, shake it shut. Yeah, super good action. I think with some breaking in, uh, closing and opening, this knife will be super, super smooth. Yeah, this knife reminds me of my Greensmore Rusk. It looks very similar. I think it's because they both are uh, flipper only. And super sexy looking when open. Yeah, the Model T is a little bit shorter. Let's just do like a quick size comparison. A little bit shorter than the Rask. You can see. And a little bit wider as well. Let's bring out the CRK Woman Zone. As you can see, Woman Zone is quite longer and seeker as well. How about the, the Mia? It's quite similar in length with the Lamia. Uh, just a touch longer, I think. Okay, let's do a quick weight test on this whole house Model T. See how much this weight 2.854 on super light. Okay, this is really a very EDC friendly knife. Big long um, pocket clip, 3D melt. Really light uh, in hand, super good for EDC. And the blade, when open, it just completes the knife so well. The design is so clean. Really love this knife. Very happy that I traded my Incozy with this. Because I think the Umundong is my favorite CRK design. And I carry this one quite often. So yeah. No use for the Incozy. Okay, this is my first impression and unboxing of this Hulk House Model T. Let me know what do you think about this knife in the comment section. I hope you have a wonderful day and hope to see you in my next video. Thank you.